morning youtube it's your boy chevy trev and i'm back with another video i'm out here in nature of course taking my walk just walking around and just catching up on the news because you know i've been busy with work but you know the sun's out i'm feeling great and i wanted to make you guys a quick video because i was just catching up on the news and then i wanted to talk about this topic and i'm out here in nature and i felt it relates a lot because i wanted to talk about the topic of what's happening with ime adoko I think that's how you say his name, but he's the Celtics coach. I'm a big Celtics fan, and I wanted to talk about the topic with him and Nia Long because I feel like we can all learn a lot from that situation, and I wanted to talk about the situation with Jeezy getting a divorce because both of these men, they're high-value men. You know, they're at the top of their craft, or they're great businessmen, great rappers, great coaches, and they have a lot of interesting things going on right now, and I wanted to kind of speak on that. And by no means am I a relationship guru. I'm not a relationship guru. I'm not one of these red pill dudes. I'm just a guy giving advice. So I want to talk about these situations because it's important and it can help the common man. Because honestly, when you're a man and you get to the top level of your craft and everything like that, things like this tend to happen because people are gonna hate on you. Women are gonna be all over you and you're gonna make certain decisions based on your position in life because things change people change feelings change too and you know that's a party next door reference for y'all but most of the like these dudes since they're at the high level i'm not surprised because Ime Adoko, he's a goat i wish the Celtics kept him even though he did commit infidelity or whatever it is with his with his uh i don't know if neil lost his partner or his wife but you know that's more of a personal thing and you know i think we should have kept him personally but you know he's basically going through a custody battle now and it's like why and he's the coach of the rockets now and it's like all this could have been prevented with personal accountability but you know he is a high value man he's a great coach and honestly if i was the celtics gm i would have just told him like listen bro you can't run around doing this especially if you're a good coach you know i'm gonna suspend you for a little bit but we're gonna keep you on as a coach because Ime was the goat he had jason tatum and jalen brown working harder than ever because they're two quiet like introverted kind of dudes you don't really see them out in the public like that but you know he pushed them to a certain level to where they improved and we got to the finals. But, you know, once he went gone, you know, we fell off. And the new coach, he's kind of a weirdo. I'm not going to lie to you. But, you know, he's a high-value dude. And, you know, this thing did happen to him, yes. But the fact that he got scrutinized to the media and different things like that is crazy because, you know, when you're at the top, you should expect this stuff and you should prepare for this stuff. And it's, it's like – when you're high value, you can get away with certain things, but you also got to prepare for things mentally and how society will perceive you. So for my young men out there or people on the grind like I am and you intend to become high value, you got to monitor situations like this because it'll teach you a lot about the inner workings of society and how people are there to bring you down. But, you know, the situation with Jeezy, that's a little bit different entirely because he's actually the one that divorced his wife. And usually it's the other way around. Women usually divorce men. So... You know, he saw he had other options and he decided, all right, I'm going to move on. And, you know, it's messed up. It's stuff that relationships end like this in modern society because relationships like marriages, especially, they're meant to last forever. You know, when you give those vows, they're supposed to mean something and you're supposed to be giving your life to your wife and your wife giving your life to her under God. But, you know, that doesn't mean nothing nowadays. And the situation with Jeezy, it kind of proves that because, you know, they have a kid together and all these different things. But they still broke up because, you know, there's probably things going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. And, you know, Jeezy, he's like me. He believes in the method of you can always get another one. I may be in love with you. I may care about you, but I can get another girl. I could divorce. You know, I gave you my last name and that was respect enough. But, you know, the fact that you're moving however you're moving, I'll initiate this divorce. I'll move forward. I'll take the L. But, you know. It's like that sometimes. And when you're a high value kind of man, and I hate using these red pill terms because I'm not red pilled, but you know, they make sense. But you know, when you're this sort of way, you know, life kind of pushes you and gives you certain challenges. So if you're like a young dude, monitor these dudes and their situation because it could happen to you. And you know, you should never say never because anything can happen. Anything can happen. And these dudes are the prime living example of that because relationships in 2023, if you got a good relationship, with a woman, you know, that's great for you. I'm happy for you because it's it's a rarity. Like, all of us don't get that happy ending, but when you do, shout out to you. But when you have situations like this, you got to learn from it, no matter what it is, because it teaches you a lot. And, you know, I learned a lot from these men because, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens, and when it happens, you got to kind of be ready for that. 
but I just wanted to make this quick video talking about those topics and giving you guys some game because honestly, when I was a young dude, I wish someone gave me game about this stuff because, you know, I, I, I'm I planning on getting married to someone if I find the right person. But, you know, when you see stuff like this, it kind of discourages you. When you see stuff like Adam 22, you're like, damn, imagine spending your life forever with someone and, you know, it doesn't work out. But, you know, you got to kind of constantly monitor your partner. You got to vet properly and you got to avoid situations like this because you never know. It could happen to you. And then if you're on your grind like I am and you're trying to reach a certain level, you got to definitely pick the right partner. But, you know, just wanted to make this quick video for you guys, especially for my younger viewers, because a lot of y'all just be just be messing with women and getting them pregnant or a bunch of other stuff. And I just wanted to make this quick video, giving you all some game. But anyway, learn from these two men, like, comment and subscribe. And, you know, just basically grow and, you know, properly pick a partner. I say this all the time, properly pick a partner. And I'm not a relationship guru. I'll never be a relationship guru because I got to find a relationship my damn self. But, you know, learn from people. I like to always learn from example and my own experiences. But I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in and I'm out.